everyone, this is Anna from Koala Soap and today we're going to be making a neon marble swirl soap. I'm going to be using the Stardust Mica Neons. We're going to use Poppin' Pink and Cosmic Blue. I have, I'm going to do a little something a little bit different. Instead of pouring white on top, I'm going to just have these two colors and I'm going to try to make it flow um, and kind of integrate with itself. I'll show you how in a little bit. We know this mold will hold about so I have 10 in each of these. This is Shea Butter. We will be using the fragrance of Yuzu Cybella today. And let's go ahead and get these warmed up and get them ready to go. Okay, these are both in the 140s. I've gone ahead and added in our fragrance. I'm going to go ahead and put in our chopsticks for stirring. Make sure there's no lumps or clumps. And I'm going to go ahead and we're going to add our pop and pink and our cosmic blue I think these colors are going to look kind of neat together okay so we will get the cosmic pink going. And all this alcohol will evaporate out, so you don't have to worry about um, the alcohol amounts in here. I'm going to make sure the blue I found that you have to really make sure that you stir it really well. Or you might get a little bit of a speckling in there. Even though it's in alcohol, just make sure. And that's why um, as I'm doing it, if I can get a little bit of alcohol in there, I'm going to kind of do this just to make sure we get most, if not all, of it dissolved. Oops. So we will start stirring these. Now the first layer that we're going to pour isn't really going to matter how hot it is, really, just because um, it's the first layer and we, we don't care, it's not going to melt through or anything like that. The second layer, however, all the subsequent layers, we do want to make sure that everything is um, pretty set. So our pink is done. I would like maybe a little bit more on the blue. I don't know, let's see. There's some left in here, maybe that's enough. Okay, and let's see what these are at now. Stir them really well. I have my silicone mat on the bottom here. And I'm not going to pour all of it because I'm going to have to warm some of it up. I'm just going to be pouring some of it. So 123, 129. Great. We should be able to pour. Um, at this point in time, they will still mix together. So we'll go ahead and just pour a layer here. We'll still squirt that with some alcohol. We're going to let that um, set just a little bit and then we'll start pouring our subsequent layers. Okay, we're back. So this is pretty much set. We're going to go ahead and squirt with alcohol. I'm not going to use gloves because I'm not going to be touching anything now other than the handles. And I'm going to go ahead, we're going to go on the end here. Make sure it doesn't pop through and it's not. We're gonna be squishing all of this together so I'm not too worried about it molding together. So 
Make sure that we should be pretty low now. Yeah, 117 and 108. So we'll go ahead and pour a little bit more pink. I'm just going to kind of pour on the outskirts so I don't get too much of a purple. So I'm just going to rip all this apart. I'm going to let this sit and then we're going to come back and we're going to start again pouring on top. Okay, it's set a little bit more. Um, I want to save some of this, but it has a really thick skin, but we're okay because it's already um, has the fragrance oil in it and the scent, I'm sorry, and the um, colorant in it. So I'm going to, I try to start over here on the end, see if it's popping through, which it's not. But I need to save some because the rest of this we're going to actually be melting and pouring on top to make it um, blend. Now, I don't necessarily worry too much about the alcohol at this point, but if it's obvious you have some bubbles in there, feel free to squirt. But as you can see, it makes it really um, disperse. And that's fine because you don't want there to look like there's air bubbles in your final soap. So I have this much left, I don't know if you can see, not very much left. That's gonna to have to be poured on top after we make our ball. So I have a lot more pink. It looks like I have a lot of pink in here, but it's because the whole bottom is blue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna test the end here and see if it'll stay on top. I'm okay if some of it turns a little purple from these colors melting because it's going to do it anyway when I heat up and pour, but I just kind of would like there to be a distinction. So pour very carefully. If you need to, you could use your spatula and break the ball that way. Um, this has got a good enough skin that it shouldn't do that. I'm pouring super slowly. And I'm trying to just get onto the blue at this point. And you can see there's skin coming in there, and that's fine. We're okay with the skin. And we have to remember not to over pour because we're going to need some of this for our finished product. So I'm just going to let it drip on here and see if it stays on top it is so just a little bit more and then we're going to save the rest Okay. I think we're going to save both of those and that will be for the pouring in. We're going to let this completely set so it could be probably about an hour or so before um, that happens because the shea butter takes a lot longer to set than if we had just done regular glycerin. Once we're done with that we'll go ahead and unmold this. We will, I don't want to cut it because I don't want there to be any clean cuts, but then we're going to go ahead roll it into a ball and we're just going to tear it up and mush it back together into our semi-formed ball. So we'll be back and we will finish our design. Okay everyone, we're back and this is pretty set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna start peeling it. And while I'm getting this ready, I'm gonna go ahead and start warming these up so that I can go ahead and um, get them 
at a certain temperature so we can pour it in here. So let's start warming these up while I'm getting this prepared. Okay, we're back. I have these warmed up. I just didn't want them to, to do all this and then have to do it afterwards. So let's see where we're at, just out of curiosity. 158 and 169. So that gives us a little time to work. So I've gone ahead and I've rolled this up. I've unmolded it and um, I'm going to go ahead. I try to do these a little bit thinner because if I roll them too thick, they're really hard to, to break apart. I actually am using my thumb to kind of get in there so I can tear it apart a little bit easier. I found that when I was just kind of going like this, all it was doing was it wasn't helping me get a grip on anything. So we're going to go ahead and squeeze that. Now we have this, we're going to make our lopsided ball that we always do. Now I don't want to pour those too hot. Usually what I like to do is I poured it about 170 um, so it melts in a little bit. But the issue is I don't want this to turn purple, which is what it'll do because I have two different colors. We've never done two colors before. So we're going to just make sure all of this sticks in here. Now I do expect a little bit of purple. I just don't want a lot. I'm just going to add this. And I didn't want to make the ball too big because I really kind of wanted it to just plop right in there. And that to me is perfect. So as you can see, it's in there. It doesn't really extend. It's right there. I'm very happy with that. So let's see where we're at here. 146. I'm going to have to pour it a little bit hotter than the 130. So I think right now, there, this is at 150, this is 146. I think we're at a good spot. I'm still going to go ahead and put our little marks in here. And we're using a chopstick. We're not using a skewer because a skewer I don't think makes holes big enough. We want to make sure that our mold did not get deformed which you can do, any excess, just go ahead and put it right in there. And I think what we'll go ahead and do is we're gonna squirt with alcohol and we will start pouring. And we wanna kind of pour in those holes if we can. And remember, we're gonna expect the air bubbles. And then we're going to pour this one. This one I think is now at 148. So we're okay to pour. Okay. Perfect measurements this time. I want to get that under. Okay, we're going to massage a little bit. So you can see the air bubbles coming up and we want that to happen. Because we have holes in there, we have grooves in there, we have little fissures in there. I'm okay with a little bit of purple. I would just like there to be a distinct pink in there. Okay, we are gonna let this set. I'm actually okay with a little bit coming up. As a matter of fact, I might texture this a little bit more depending on how it looks later. And as the air bubbles come up, you're just gonna keep squirting it. And they will come up as it works its way in. So we're gonna let this sit. We will come back in a few hours and we will go ahead and cut and see how it looks. And wash our gloves, because these things got really, really well loved. Okay, we're back. It has set and we're gonna go ahead and do the cut. So this is what it looks like. 
the bottom and the sides. So the trick to this um, cutter is you want to have it all the way up and all the way off to one side. We had a phone ring, but Kaylin just saw the soap and loves it. Okay, you ready to see what the inside looks like? Yeah. Okay. Going down. Ooh. You like? Yeah. There you guys go. It looks good. I actually I like it. I do. It turned a little purple because I had to pour it a little hot, but. I do, and I, I use the scent that you liked. There you guys go. Okay, I like it. it it's kind of like a cotton candy. It looks very, very good. So we have three one inch bars and one three quarters of an inch bar which would be that one these will be on the website this one will probably not be on the website unless i put it on a smaller bar list but anyway i hope you guys like this and this is anna from koala soap and you guys have a really great weekend